Welcome back to my channel, you guys. In today's video, we're just doing a very quick Thursday tidy up. I hope you guys enjoy this video and keep coming back for more. All right, guys, I hope you have a wonderful day and don't forget to glow today. Now, I did record this on my iPad mini, so the angle is a little bit off because I don't really have a stand for my iPad or anything to set it on so that it's like the perfect angle, so I do apologize for that. Y'all, look how crazy my hair is, but you know what? We don't care over here. We wear no bras over here. We don't do makeup. Our hair is crazy, but that's okay because we're getting stuff done and we're beautiful regardless. trying to drink my water and I didn't even have the straw in. <laughs> I'm probably pointing this out and nobody has actually ever noticed, but I noticed it and it bothers me. I have this weird, I don't know if it's called a tick or whatever, but I move my mouth. Like my mouth makes a lot of like movements. Like you can see my lips moving around. I'm pretty sure my mom does it too. Um, from what I can remember. I don't know why I do this, but I just notice it every time I'm, I'm editing in a video. And I try so hard not to do it. Like I think in my mind, oh, let me not do that weird thing with my mouth. And yet when I go to edit the video, I always do it. <laughs> when you guys see me talking, obviously you can't hear me because I took the sound out. But when you see me talking, I am talking to my three-year-old daughter. So right here I'm just cleaning up the sink with some Comet and some Spick and Span antibacterial spray and a little scrub brush. I was trying to give you guys a close up but like I said I am recording on my iPad so it's a little bit more difficult to do that with the iPad but yeah I was just trying to get the sink nice and shiny. grab some spray away and I'm going to spray the, um, the faucet for the kitchen sink to make it nice and shiny. I absolutely love spray away and I don't think I could ever go back to just using a regular Windex ever again. By the way, I absolutely love that we have the little pull-down faucet thing. I don't even know what it's actually called, 
but I very much appreciate it and I was so happy when we moved in and I saw that. If anyone is wondering what I am using in my diff my uh, oil diffuser, uh, right now I am using the cedar wood, um, or no, I'm sorry, I'm using the eucalyptus is that how you pronounce it oh my gosh I'm using that today um, usually during the day I'll use the lemongrass and then at nighttime I'll switch over to the lavender but today I decided to do the um, eucalyptus one absolutely do it is fine for mirrors making things look shiny um, glass anything like that but when I use it on my stove or my refrigerator I get a lot of streakage um, I don't know like is there a certain product I should be using on stainless steel because it seems like everything that I do use I don't know if you can tell but if you look at the refrigerator you can kind of tell it's very streaky and just looks dirty I guess you would say even though it's not dirty um, so in this video you don't see me doing it but I actually tried a little bit of Dawn dish soap so we're gonna see what that looks like once it dries um, but if there's anything anyone recommends as far as like a stainless steel cleaner it will be greatly appreciated there but all I'm doing is picking up all of um, Mia's toys that she keeps in the living room she has like a little this little um, box organizer container of toys that sit in the corner so I was picking them all up even though I asked her to do it she refused so mom life I had to go over there in the corner and pick them up so that's why you don't see me for a minute what my fellow moms use to organize their kids toys right now I just use plastic um, bins I want to get her like a giant toy box because I don't want to have like because she has so many toys I don't want to have bins and toy boxes sitting all over my house or inside her playroom I want it to be nice and organized so I was thinking of getting just or trying to find a giant like oversized toy box. So if anyone can recommend where I could possibly find one or give me some tips and tricks on how to better, better organize her toys, it'll be greatly appreciated. And I do plan on making a video of my, of like getting her playroom and all her toys and everything like that organized once I figure out a better system to store all of them.
guys can see, I'm sure you can see it, the little um, L love sign or picture or whatever that I have hanging on the wall, I actually used double-sided tape to hang that up. And I tell you what, double-sided tape is gonna be my new best friend because today I was hanging pictures and I was using double-sided tape and it worked so good. grabbing my regular corded vacuum cleaner so I can go over the floors really quickly. I had already ran my Roomba this morning um, and last night before I went to bed I did sweep the floors. So I'm just using my regular um, vacuum cleaner to get up some of the crumbs and stuff that Mia left behind. Um, I did make sure that this vacuum cleaner could be used on hard floors or like vinyl floors and everything like that and it says it could so um, I was very happy that I didn't have to uh, throw it away or give it away because it's a really good vacuum cleaner and I thought it was just for carpets but it turns out you can use it on pretty much everything which is totally awesome because it makes my job a heck of a lot easier. Not that it's anybody's business other than my husband's, but I promise y'all my butt does not actually look that bad. I am so embarrassed by how horrible my butt looks right now, but I promise you it looks way better than that. Your girl takes care of her butt, even though I've been slacking um, as far as workouts and maybe not eating as good as I should, I still make sure I do little squats here and there like before I go to bed and stuff I do a lot of stretching and I do a lot of squats so trust me my butt looks way better than that but it was it was definitely struggling in this video <laughs> that I was recording and I went to go vacuum over by the front door and the other side of the room so I do apologize for that I should have turned you guys around and now we are going to head into the bedroom so that I can get these bed made beds made I just um, washed the sheets the other day so I didn't have to worry about that and thankfully my husband when he sleeps he doesn't mess up the bed too too much so it's always like half made and half unmade so I just really had to tidy it up basically and this is the part where the video got cut off because the tablet fell and actually hit the stop button so I had to restart the video so I do apologize for that but we are just continuing to make the bed So you guys can't exactly see what I'm doing right here, but I am tucking in the bottom of the blankets and the sheets into the bed because that's just the way I like it. I feel like it looks a lot better and a lot pleasing to the eye when you walk into the room, so that's what I'm doing here. And once again, you guys fell. We really need to get it together because this is ridiculous. <laughs> so now I'm in Mia's room making her bed. Um, again, I just washed the sheets the other day, so I didn't really have to worry about that.
the angle is so bad you guys can't even see what I'm doing, but literally all I'm doing is just making a bed. I'm sure you've seen that before. And that is it for this quick little um, Thursday cleanup video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new here, um, please consider subscribing. Don't forget to hit the like. Send me some comments, show me some love, and um, don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you're always notified whenever I post new content. Um, I did say in a video that I had posted earlier that I was going to do a clean and chat with me but I didn't feel like using my phone today, so I just went ahead and used the iPad. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.